Hi, so this is Gabor uh, in the Gabor Sabo. In the first episode of the Pearl Maven show or television, with me is Jeff, Jeffrey Talhammer. He is, uh, I'm really happy that he, was, he volunteered to be the first uh, guinea pig in the first interview. Um, he is the author of uh, The Pearl Critic and more recently the, the Pinto uh, application module. And I would like him to help. Hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> now maybe I talk to him. Yeah, so hi, hi. Hi, are hi good boy. Hi, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm a bit, bit nervous, but um, we'll get over it, I think. Uh, I think. I think you're doing a fine job. Thanks for uh, having me on the show. Okay, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. So t tell me a little bit about, about Pinto. This is like a recent project. and. Yeah, so Pinto has been my, my baby for, for the last year, almost two years. Um, it started out as a project for a client, actually. Genentech had hired me to build them a custom CPAN repository. And this is something I had done at three or four other companies. Uh, basically, any shop that, that uses Perl modules wrestles with the problem of, of churn in the public CPAN. There's always new modules coming and going, and if you build up your application by installing modules from the public CPAN, you, you never know what you're going to get from one day to the next. So one workaround to that problem is to have a, a local private CPAN that has exactly the modules you want and, and the specific versions you want. And there are existing tools for this. Um, it's, it's not a new idea or anything. But uh, I, I didn't really like any of them. They were always kind of hard to work with. And each one of them, each one of these CPANs that I built seemed very, very customized uh, and not very general purpose. So Genentech hired me. They gave me an opportunity to start from scratch, and so Pinto Pinto is the result of that work. Okay, that that that's awesome. Both that that there is this uh, the, the module or, or application, and uh, that there is a company that that was okay with with uh, having this thing going out out to open source and to implement something. The 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 staff there is very progressive. Uh, so it was the terms of the deal with them explicitly were to uh, anything that I did had to be released to CPAN, uh, and that's that's how they received their deliverable from me, um, which is it is unusual. Uh, I, I would love to see that happen more often. Um, so I, I saw that recently that that you you have this fundraising. That Brian Fo Brian Foy started or, or is doing for you, and um, can you tell me about about that a little bit? I mean, I, I saw that you're trying to raise four thousand so dollars, and uh, three quarter of them is already there. Yeah, yeah. So, so Brian, why Foy, do you need this money? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you the the, the backstory first. Uh, so Brian Foy has been experimenting with using crowdfunding platforms uh, to fund open source projects. And so he was looking for candidate projects, uh, things, things that he could run a campaign for, and then we could, we could use the data, or he could use the data to study uh, and see you know, where, uh, where the interest is, where the community is, and just r generally to prove whether or not crowdfunding was a viable way to to finance these kinds of projects. So he sort of put out a call for suggestions uh, for campaigns or, or for projects to run campaigns for. And, and I stepped up and said, "Well, hey, how about how about Pinto? Um, there were some some key features that that I thought we could do. Uh, it has been my my primary work for the last couple of months. Uh, I haven't been doing any consulting, working full time on Pinto." So raising a little so, bit of money. Wait, wait, wait a second. So, so you, you say that you, you actually don't have any, any income right now. So basically <laughs> that's right. that, that would be the, the income. Right. Okay. So, so this, this, this funding, uh, this crowdfunding project campaign is, is my income for, for this month anyway. Um, it's not so much that, that I need the money. Uh, I'm not living on crusts of bread, at least not yet. Okay. That's but I think the, the, the project, or the, I'm sorry, the campaign is more about demonstrating whether or not you can fund open source development 
through crowdfunding. Uh, whether you can bring together the open source community uh, around these uh, projects, and particularly around Perl. Uh, Perl's been it's kind yeah. of difficult. <laughs> it, it's kind of difficult to make money in the Perl community. It's it's sort of anti. Well, not anti-capitalist, but but non-capitalist. Uh, uh, idealists. People are very I idealist. I think that's a good way to say it. We're, we're very idealist, uh, and, and the notion of of directly financing these kinds of uh, projects is is a little bit foreign to some of us. So we wanted to see if this project could could change that in any yeah. way. So. Are you satisfied so far, or um, how? I mean, looks okay, but I'm not sure if uh, what was your expectation really. I didn't know what to expect, really. I part of me thought that like uh, it, it, there was like maybe six people in the world who who would who knew me personally who would be willing to to pitch into this, um, but there was also part of me that thought, well, you know. It, the world is a very big place, and and Pearl is everywhere, um, and I think the Pearl community wants to wants to win. It wants to succeed. Uh, it wants to see this campaign succeed. Uh, yeah. So I, I've been totally blown away by the results so far. Uh, everyone has done a really great job of spreading the word through Twitter and social media, and like I said, the contributions were up to about. Uh, 3,200 or so. So we have about another eight or nine hundred dollars to go to get to our goal, okay. and we have two week two weeks to get there. But I'm pretty sure that we will. Um, yeah. I want to thank. I, I really have to thank everyone who, who's made a contributions. We've had some large, some small, uh, from all sorts of people. Many of whom I I've never met before. Uh, many of whom probably are not even Pinto users. But like I said, they, they want not yet, not yet. Yeah. Um, but they, they, they want they like the idea. They want to see the they want to see Pearl win. And and I hope that this is just the start of a trend uh, in Pearl and in open yeah. source in general, where we see a lot more of these crowdfunding campaigns come out. Okay, so I saw that there were like uh, ninety people, uh, and you don't know them. But do you know what kind of people, or did you talk to them, or? Or do you, can you say, who, who do you expect? What kind of um, background of these people who, would you expect to more likely to, to give you some money for this? Um, some of them are Pinto users. Some of them are probably Pearl Critic users, and they're maybe using this as a, as a way to, to say thank you for that, um, which I am very grateful for. Um, I, I'm, I'm in that camp, actually. <laughs> well, thank you, Gabor. Yeah. Uh, I, and and a lot of them, I think, I don't have a firm handle on exactly who the Pinto users are, so I, I can't really, just, I, I can't really tell like which ones are doing this directly to to fund the project to get that feature uh, implemented, or if they are uh, sort of in that that other category of, of people that just they they want to help pitch into Pearl. Um, I actually think a lot of money could be raised. For Perl projects, uh, the challenge is, is, is providing a specific deliverable, and I think that's why the Pinto campaign is a little bit different than the general fundraising that, that TPF does. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's an easier sell to people if you say, you know, please give me some money. This is what I'm going to do in return. Uh, yeah, I think raising money just for general development purposes is. Is is a harder sell because people aren't really sure what they're getting uh, in return for their their donation. Well, I, I I can tell you that I have had a couple of reasons why I, I gave a little money and I I, I checked that it's way le less than the average. But uh, I mean, some people have to be below the average. So, <laughs> um, so one of the the main reasons I think was that uh, I wanted to give a little money so I can go out and tell other people that look, I gave, so you can also give. And because without that, it's sort of like, oh, go ahead and, and give money. It's a bit funny. Um, and, uh, well, I definitely would like to see Pinto succeed and, uh, and be 
better and maybe I can I can use it for for the Vimpro uh, packaging and then but maybe the main reason was was was, was Pearl Critic actually that uh, that I've been using Pearl Critic for a long time I, I use it a lot of cu customers and so basically I, I think I made a lot of money or allowed me to to make to to earn some money um, so that was just a little thank you token for this and Thank you for for pro critique, definitely. Uh, it's it's my pleasure, and and that that sort of leads into this bigger dream that I have. Uh, I I love doing open source work, uh, but I, I I also like having an income. <laughs> so surprise, <laughs> surprise, yeah. So I've I've been trying to find ways to to. To marry the two, to, to, to achieve both goals, to, to have the freedom uh, and, and the joy and satisfaction that I get from doing open source work, and at the same time, paying the bills and putting my kid through college, which is several years away, but, <laughs> but the, the day will come. So my, 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 my ultimate goal is to be able to create some kind of infrastructure to allow people to, to monetize their open source work. Uh, yeah, it's a bad word. No, it sounds bad. But I understand. Yeah, I understand. I yeah, mean, I also. Well, uh, I have to work on coming up with a better word for it then. But you know, you, you mentioned that Pearl Critic has has enabled you to to make some money from your clients, and that's great. Um, imagine, you know, th think of the, the tens of thousands of of developers and organizations that have all benefited from Michael Schwern's uh, test more who, you know, every time that they run that and a test passes or actually when a oh, test fails, then, you know, they've, they've, they've profited from that somehow, or at least minimized uh, a cost perhaps. And so I'd like to see, I'd like to create a way for a little bit of that money to flow back to the authors. We, the open source community CPAN authors create, all of this value um, in, in in the work that they do, but they don't get paid directly anyway for for any of it. So I, th I think there's a lot of money on the table in the open source community. If we can just find a way to channel it uh, to the people who deserve it. Yeah. Well, the question then uh, is, um, well, Pinto is, or this fundraising is trying to gather money from, from um, mostly individuals, I think. But uh, think, probably the the longer term goal would be is to to reach companies that that need uh, this software because because fi fi after all companies usually have a lot more money available than individuals. Right. I, I most of the contributors to the campaign have been individuals. My plan to monetize Pinto even further is with this thing called Stratapan. Stratapan.com which is a hosting service built on top of, uh, I'm sorry, on top of Pinto. Yeah. So that you don't have to bother installing Pinto uh, and, and managing user accounts and servers and all that sort of stuff. We'll take care of that for you. Your Pinto repository will be in the cloud and you can build and install your applications from there uh, anywhere, anytime. So it's, it's a bit like uh, GitHub hosts source code repositories Stratapan.com is going to host Pinto repositories for you. Oh, that sounds interesting. It's interesting. Uh, we just announced the beta uh, this week. We're looking for beta users to, to come on board and, and, and help us uh, shake out some of the uh, early kinks. We think that we're going to launch... Uh, the, the beta will start uh, sometime this summer. So if you go to Stratapan.com, you can leave us your email address, and we'll get in touch with you uh, when the time comes. You say V just because it uh, sounds better, or there are more people behind that? Well, well, I, I say we in the sense that it's me, it's the contributors to the Pinto project. Brian Foy is also a part of Stratapan. Uh, he's helping me. He's been working on CPAN-related issues for a very, very long time, so he's been helping me sort out some of uh, the technical details and giving me some, some insights into marketing and, and how, how to reach out to the Pearl community and, and, and make an impact. Okay, great. 
Um, I wanted to ask you, because Yapsi is coming, uh, so and I, I, we actually met the first time uh, last year uh, at Yapsi in North America. Are, are you planning to go, or it's not yet? I haven't, I haven't committed yet, but I would like to go. I went last year uh, to Yapsi in Madison and had a blast. Uh, last year I stayed in a hostel, which was kind of a first for me. Usually when I travel with my wife, her... her uh, her tastes are a little more particular than mine. So I was traveling alone. I stayed in a hostel, and it really turned out to be part of the, the best part of the whole experience. Uh, I met Sawyer there. He's a really talented guy. We, we had some late-night conversations. Yeah, uh, there I, were he's so going many to be people. there. He's I, going I, to I look, be there again, I as far as I know. I really want to get out to some of the Yapsies in, in Europe and, and Asia and try some of those. Um, but but yeah, Yapsi is is a blast, and if if uh, if you're thinking of going and haven't been before, I I highly recommend it. Yeah, I I usually go to Yapsi Europe because it's a it's a lot closer than uh, than North America. But this year again, I'm I'm going to be in North America, and um, I would like to go to Asia once. <laughs> Yapsi Asia, but uh, uh, Austin is a great town too. Yeah. Uh, there's tons of, of music and uh, and events and 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 it's 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 kind of uh, it's quite a bit different from the rest of Texas. If, if you have a perception of what Texas is like, uh, Austin is is pretty much the the exact opposite of that. It's this little island of of liberal progressive thinking in an otherwise very uh, conservative state. I grew up in New Mexico, which is which is one state over and is is, okay. is shares some similar characteristics. Interesting. So I, I hope that I, I'll see you there. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for coming to the show. Would you like to say uh, some more words about Pinto or uh, give out a cool action? Well, <laughs> well. The, as I said, the, the beta for Stratapan uh, will start this summer. If you go to stratapan.com, uh, you can leave us your email address, and we'll make sure you're part of that. Uh, the, the crowdfunding campaign for Pinto uh, is being run by on CrowdTilt, uh, which is also another Pearl shop. They've been super helpful with uh, get, helping us get the, the campaign set up and running. Uh, I don't have the URL. Off I'll the top of my put head, the so. URLs under the... Under okay. the video. So if, if you want to go there and help spread the word, tweet, blog, whatever you do, uh, I really appreciate it. Contributions are, are good, too. We're, we're very close to tilting. If we don't reach the full amount, then none of the money gets paid. So we, we have to reach that 4,096 goal uh, in order to make this uh, win. Good. Um, well, I, I really hope that it will work out. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm going to put all the um, notes, all the links uh, under the video. And uh, thank you very much for, for coming to, the sh to this interview or show, or I don't know what's, what's, what's it's going to be called uh, now. Um, and we'll see you hopefully in Yapsi or somewhere around. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. See you, see you in uh, Texas. See you. Bye.